Hey world, it's Tobo. It is May the 30th of 2014, and welcome back to the party. Uh, breaking news has hit quite recently in the fact that Checker um, has confirmed that next build, which is supposed to come out early next week, will contain a new mission. This mission being Fingerprint the Ambassador. Which, as far as we can tell, is going to be a soft tell mission. Which means, holy crap, Batman, everything in the Spy Party universe is going to explode. A new soft tell mission is going to make quite a lot of things that we've figured out so far, as far as sniping strategy is concerned, and a lot of spy strategy as well, for that matter. A lot of things are going to go completely and utterly belly up, and it's going to be terrifying for us to try to figure out how to adapt to having another soft tail mission to contend with. Um, there's going to be a lot of weird stuff going on with uh, the balanced game types changing dramatically from what they used to be, and just odd things where... Um, where if we keep the current game types, suddenly you don't have to do any hard tells anymore. Which makes a lot of snipers become bad. So, that's something to look out for. But that is not what happens today. Today, we are going to cast an old ladder match from back in the days before the gallery was a thing. So it's not first to 13. Suddenly, it's first to 11. This particular match is Kletos versus Iceman. And if I remember correctly, it was quite a good match. I don't remember the details, but I remember it being awesome. And I also know that it involved seven known veranda. So that's gonna be fun. Start this. So, without any further ado, let's do that. Starting things out here with Kletos on the spy, on the balcony, with Iceman on the sniper, to get things underway for the evening. And the sooner we get through this, the sooner we get to seven known veranda. And I want that to happen real bad. Not banana the best bread. position to start things out. No. Able to pick up a really nice banana bread, though. <laughs> so, that is absolutely going to be quite helpful. But, the seductions might wind up being a problem here. We have one nice, solid low light. So far. Second low light coming off. We haven't done any flirts yet. We've got a minute and 15 left to play. This is actually really bad. Luckily able to hit the green test there for 37%. So if he can get two more flirts in, that's going to be beautiful. Oh my god, the bug! Did you see that bug? That was a sweet, sweet bug. Oh, good stuff. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. I want to have another look at that because that was a glorious bug. Let's have a... Let's have a peek. What is this from Sniper Cam? Here we go. Ambassador entering. Aaron. Oh, yeah, because you should see the hand peeking through. So, maybe not quite as nice as I thought it was, but still worked out quite nicely because you just don't expect to see bugs like that coming off. So, Kletos picking up the early game there with the clutch bug on the balcony because if he didn't hit that, that would have been a tough game ahead of him. Impressive stuff. Way impressive as deed. Let's see if Iceman can answer back. As he steps into the spiral himself as Grimsworth Buckswoggle readjusts on the entry to give it a bit of a 50-50 for the selection target's positioning if he gets... Oh no, that looks like... Okay, that looks good. That looks bad. Oh, god damn it, Ambassador. We can hit that bug, maybe. It seems really, really 
risky, especially with such a small model on the Amba. Iceman wisely decides not to go for it, but this is going to be a very difficult game bread. for him. That green test on the banana bread is certainly going to help, but still, this is going to be a hard game for Iceman to win. Because look at the distance between him and the seduction to start things off. And he didn't go for the early one. He went for the PB instead, which I don't necessarily agree with. Because it's not easy to get all them flirts off. Hitting the green test there for 32%, which is still doable with two super close whites. But he only has a minute left to play. Definitely not in the best positions as Iceman. Might be able to pick up a clutch window flirt. Actually just steps away from the conversation, not waiting for Zexion Target to step away. And for a bit of a Hail Mary here. It's going to be window to window. Might be looking for a low light here. Not going to get it with that. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> he missed the pad. He, he missed. That's... That's, yeah, that, that's, that's how, that's a game. So, yeah, that was a thing that happened. Let's get onward to Courtyard 2. Not slowing down for anything. Kletos on the spy, Iceman on the sniper. Getting things going nice and quick here. Uh, Kletos actually letting the AI guide him to a pad before he takes control. Bails on the statues. That could have been really bad and goes all the way back around to, um, to this CC here to start up on his flirts. I don't know why he just didn't take control earlier and step in there, but he is able to pick up the green test on the flirt, so quick 51% coming out of that. Definitely looking like a good start. Other than the weird path at the beginning, but what can you do? Taking his time here to start things off. And Kletos, Kletos I don't remember as a person who has trouble finishing his missions, so I'm, I'm pretty okay with slow playing a little bit at the start. Around now, I think you kind of have to get moving, and Kletos I think agrees, so he's going to likely do something fairly inconspicuous, and now from here either go into statues or for another flirt. Both are viable, probably for the flirt, because the double agent's there as well. A bit of odd pathing coming through, but briefcasing. That I guess it stops him from getting too caught up on the flirt there. Oh no, the catch on the way into the banana bread is a really unfortunate little mistake there. Gets him highlit. Another green test on the flirt, able to bump up to 81%, but he's only got a minute and 10 left on the clock, and no mission's done. This is looking really bad. He slow played just a little bit too hard for a little bit too long, and suddenly things are looking real bad for Kletos as we strike the one minute mark. <laughs> Double agent re-enters though, so we might be able to get that banana bread off. It is a white test. And the talk comes off in a little bit of a conspicuous way. We're right on the edge of this conversation, so we could get a nice twitch flirt, but Kletos decides to just step in the statues. I don't know if he has time for this. I would have liked to see the twitch come off first, because with 35 seconds left on the clock, stepping into the statues, this is going to be very, very difficult to pull off. Very doable. Very difficult. Oh, okay. Alright. So, Iceman, I think, was on him pretty hard from that weird path coming into the conversation there. And the statues just made him even more certain, I believe. Certain enough to take the shot, anyways, as Iceman steps into that's the wrong game. So Iceman steps into the spy himself on the Courtyard 2 once more. Starting things off um, in a not like not the best position for the flirt, only gets him 25% on the white test there, but definitely could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. Gonna need a green test on one of his next two. He's going to three flirt it though, so that's not necessarily the most comfortable position to be in. Although players of this caliber, um, getting one green test out of three is not a problem. This is almost a free bug if we're feeling ballsy, but we're not. 
If he was gonna go for this, ah, uh, always a green swap. What I was saying was, if he was gonna go for the bug there, he really had to be confident in his timing and be able to ace it with the rotation. So, stepping out, picking up the next flirt. That's also a white test, so he's gonna. Be okay, that was for the green swap. That. That was indeed for the green swap. Who the heck let Snap be an ambassador? That is a good question, Doofless. How, how is, he's, miss, how does Snaps McGee get that role? That doesn't make sense. All right, onward to the gallery. We're almost at super fun game mode, so just hold on a little bit longer. Cleto stepping into the spiral to start out our painting extravaganza. Going for the super early purloin, a very dangerous move here. So, we'll see how that turns out. Keep in mind, this is not any four of six here. This is any five of seven gallery, which is kind of terrifying, but still, he was able to get the throwing off fairly cleanly, which is an absolutely enormous start. He steps into the statues. That was, that's fantastic. Getting that uh, throwing off. Wow! He even gets a shot taken for it. Very good stuff coming out of Kletos there on the spiral. Has a chance to go up two sets really early here. And Iceman, as he gets ready to step into the spiral, is going to try to make sure that doesn't happen. Starting things off at the statues, one of the less conspicuous ones because it's visible. So that's good. He will pick up a couple quick inspects without any issue. And we will likely uh, step to conversation there. Let's see if we can pick up a flirt. Can't find any room there, actually. So, the painting. Someone steps away if we want to take that spot. It's a bad spot. It's like going to take it, though. This is not going to be a very good seduce. Oh great! Look, look, look at look at that spot. Look at that spot right there. Only hits the white. That's seventeen percent. Ouch! That's ouch. That that is just ouch. Very sad face flirt that was. Two minutes and thirty left to play. We've got two inspects and the flirt done, but it was a bad flirt. Just straight up bad, like not even, not even, there's not, there's not two ways about it. That was not a good flirt. Picking up a drink, no purloin. This is risky business, because you have to get five missions done on this map. And that's not the easiest thing to do. A lot of the missions you really have to go for, like the, um, the, so that's your target. You tend to have to tail fairly closely and fairly consistently if you want to get that particular mission done. Microfilm can be very time consuming depending on how you do it. That was not very good path in coming out. Um, Pearl One is just an incredibly, incredibly dangerous mission to do. Going for the manual transfer. Oh god, that did, that did not work out as planned. It just didn't turn out the way we wanted it to, and suddenly Kletos is up by two sets. Scoreline is one to five as we step into holy crap territory because it's time for a drink of water. And known seven veranda. I don't know. I don't know why Known 7 Veranda is a thing, but we're playing some Known 7 Veranda. And I am rooting for the Spies as hard as I can in this matchup. Starting with Kletos. He has to do literally everything to get things done here. Godspeed, my friend. Godspeed. This should be a free bug. Bug! Smooth enough not to be noticed from across map. Very good stuff coming out of Kletos there. 
Flirt and the bug is a good start, but he has a long way to go because he has to do literally everything. So there's that. How are you going to do this, Kletos? What's your plan? Can, is, is there even a plan on Known 7 Veranda? Well, he wanted a flirt there, but seduction target wasn't being... Is seduction target being helpful? Seduction target's not being helpful. He's going a briefcase. That is very not helpful. Ah. Three minutes left to play. Bug done. Flirt done. He's just standing there. Okay, he's putting it down. And he's stepping away, away. If you'll get a banana bread off here, Kletos agrees. You really gotta move on Known 7. Banana this bread. That's getting insane. BB comes off. Uh, might be able to microfilm. Go, 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 go! Ooh, I think he got caught there. I think he may have gotten caught. I think he may have gotten caught or... No. You know what? I, I just think that's not the single mission Iceman's guarding this time. I think it's probably Swap. That's a white test. Ah, ah, um, yeah, that's, that's just not good. I mean, he's, I, well, so, he's not dead, so. so. I mean, there's that. Somehow he's, he's not dead. He's got four missions done. Is it going to be, is, is it the pearl in his guarding? That's really risky, because if you, if you white test, if you green test pearling, uh, you can't guarantee the shot. Even one percent of the flirt. Kletos might be able to do this actually. If he can get a nice long chain on the green test pro line, Kletos has this. Stepping in a statue to finish up his inspections. And this is looking shockingly possible now. I don't know how he was able to get away with that statue swap, but Irma Gerd. Looks like things are working out for him. Minute and 15 left to play. He has to flirt and purloin, and that's it. But I bet you, I bet you that's the mission Iceman is guarding. Which is a decision, which is a decision I don't like. But, let's see if it works for him. Step need to finish up the flirtation right here and now. Oh yeah, Iceman definitely guarding the purloin. There's that done with 45 seconds left on the clock. It's time to call Toby on over. And we desperately, desperately need a green test on this purple. And it's the only way we're going to pull this up. Pull this off, I mean. This is very, very doable. 30 seconds left to play. Oh shit, that's a white test. Oh god, oh crap. Oh damn it. Oh, dance! Dance! Help! Not. Okay, we're not Slappy Davis. Didn't happen. Cletos dropping spoilers in chat, but still, don't, don't drop spoilers, Cletos. Also, hi, Cletos. But I mean, no one's seven veranda. What do you want? What like ah? It's, no. Well, let's see what Ice Man can do. Come on, Ice Man, you can do this. I just want to see Spy win one of these. It's going to be ridiculous awesome if it happens. Nice man starting things off slow, which is bad. Just straight up. Four minutes for seven missions is not a lot of time. You don't have a lot of room to be slow playing. Get in here, seduction target! No, don't go that way! That's fine, that's fine, we'll deal. I just blown 40 seconds, it hasn't done anything. I really don't agree with this. I think Iceman has to move like a crazy person. We're only coming off here. Oh shit, that's white. That's a white test! Oh my god, that's all kinds of the bad. I mean, he's not dead, nor is he high lit. So, 
Maybe he just wasn't looking. No, he was looking. He was, he was definitely looking. Uh, he's not taking any chances, though. So i assuming he will have moved on to guarding a different hardtail at this point in time. And as much as I hate to say it, I don't see Iceman having a chance at this game. Kletos put up a really good fight. Didn't have luck on the purloin. Uh, Iceman just effed up the purloin immediately. And things just went bad a lot sooner than with Kletos. Although, considering he's literally only per... Okay. Oh, that, that's... I mean, that bug was... Questionable at best. Kletos... Holds on to his two-set lead. Two to six is the current scoreline as we step into any four of six on the ballroom. Kletos on the spy. No, that scoreboard. Okay. Iceman on the sniper. Starting things out at the bookcase. What's he going to do with this? That was not the smooth. Oh God! I'm bad. Out. Ah. Ah. Oh man. Yeah, I figured. I figured, Kletos, that Iceman's whole plan uh, with No. One Seven Veranda was to frame him, but it doesn't make any sense because hard tells. You'd have to like look carefully at the purloin chain to see who it could have been and then wait till they go to statues and then go to statues after them to try to to try to fake white just fake green I mean that's the only way you can frame someone in known seven veranda and even then they might just be guarding microfilm so then you're boned I don't know. So. I mean, Kletos just got shot for bugness. Um. But Iceman's gonna see if he can not get shot on the ballroom. So let's, let's see what happens. Starting things off. A blue bookcase. Well, blue bookcase is popular. Um, although in this case, it's the correct play in my eyes because seduction target was there. We're able to get up 51% of the flirt right off the bat, which is awesome. So, yay. Hanging out in conversation with the double agent here. Keep in mind, this one is any 4 of 6, so you are in a position where you have to knock off a mission, and the mission knocked off, believe it or not, is Bug Ambassador. That is a very odd choice. A very interesting choice, though. Definitely some interesting pros and cons coming off of that one. So, hanging out here. Blue book in hand, 51% on the purloin. Sorry, on the flirt, on the purloin, doesn't make any sense. 51% on the flirt. Does he know where this book came from is the big question. Does he know? Because I don't. I have no idea if he knows. I feel like he should, but probably doesn't. Is what's going on in my um, but this is getting pulled way back over to blue. And for the green test microfilm, that was some dangerous business because we didn't really have much in the way of cover. We had the angle, did not have the cover. But it wound up working out for us. That was a remarkable save on the pathing there. That was some pretty impressive stuff. 
very good crisis management coming out of this and might be able to finish up our seduce right here. I think we're in range 49. Doesn't hit the green though, so he's up at 84%. And at this point, he has to complete four missions in a minute. What have you been doing, Iceman? You have to missions. Go. Go, Iceman. You, you, have, you have to missions. No, that's not the real double agent! Okay, someone died. It worked. That's fine. That's f It works. We're good. That's fine. We're okay. Iceman down. One set. And we're halfway done! Four to six. Cletos up by one set at this point in time. Wrapping back around to the balcony once more. Why is why is this only to eleven? I'm I can't remember why this set is only to eleven instead of thirteen, but I, I don't know why that is. But we're on the second half now, and we're back to balcony. Kletos has an advantage here as he steps into the spiral on the balcony. But balcony is a very swingy map. There's a lot that can happen on a map like this. Uh, a lot of it's dependent on the party itself. There are some games that are just unwinnable for the sniper, and some that are practically unwinnable for the spy, so. Cleto's is saying pre-gallery set, and I thought so too, but gallery happens in this set. So I'm confused. Um, but Kletos, um, able to pick up the 44% on the flirt to get things started. Not able to grab the contact, but that's something you can do at pretty much any point. So not a huge deal. The 44% on the flirt is going to be a huge boon, though, because it means it doesn't have to be too snuggly for the second two flirts. The next two flirts. What I'm thinking probably happened is it was pre-gallery, but they decided to play gallery anyways. So technically it was, never mind, Kletos got low lit. Hold that thought. We have a low light, Batman. How are we going to play this? I don't think we know we're low lit. We have 95% on the flirts. Oh, that's just brilliant. Thank you, Seduction Target. And at this point, with 43 seconds to get a banana bread, this is Kletos' game to lose. It really is. But yeah, I'm thinking probably the reason this only goes to 11 is that uh, Gallery wasn't technically in the rotation yet, but it just it either got subbed in or it was agreed upon to play. The bug happened for some reason. I don't know why the bug happened, but the bug was a thing. Vito's just now agreeing with me in the chat. So, wow. Low, light, low lighting occurred. That doesn't happen very often on balcony. You almost never get low lit on balcony, so that was a thing. Well done, Kletos. Let's see if Iceman can also not dying on the balcony. As he steps into the spiral. Kletos on the sniper, Iceman on the spy. Start things out with the freaking time ad. What? That was white. Oh my goodness. Kletos, don't look at the clock. You just have to pray Kletos doesn't look at the clock if he wants to survive this thing. Holy crap, that's scary. But looks like he got away with things somehow. I don't know. Freaking time ads, man, are very. All they they shouldn't happen on this map, I think, because they're so easy to die on. And in the red. That wasn't the real banana bread because Double Agent left and we were sad, but we should be able to get a nice fl Oh, God damn it, Seduction Tar- Okay, everyone hates Iceman. It's a good thing he got that banana bread because he needs uh, the time out, I mean. Because he needs the time, apparently, if all the- if everyone at the party is just gonna hate him so much. Oh my god, this has just been the sad facing this party so far. Uh, banana bread now? Question mark? Nope, not anymore. Grimsworth left. Now Blondo left. We didn't get a flirt there. What is pathing happen? Um. I mean. 
um, the thing just occurred. He hasn't done anything yet. What is Iceman doing? I don't understand. And then that pathing? It's just, uh, uh, what? Uh, all right, I mean, Cletos, he died. The thing shot the... Cletos, did, Cletos was on sniper, but he didn't die. He shot the wrong person, is what I'm trying to say. So Iceman gets the game. I don't know what happened there. I real, I really, I have no idea. I don't know, but Cletos remain. Uh, Cletos holds on to his one set lead after splitting the balcony, five to seven, as we step in to the courtyard two once more. It is any four of six, and away we go. Cletos on the spy to start things off. Goes for the walk. Kill. <laughs> well. You gotta try it sometimes. You win some, you lose some. And suddenly, Iceman... Iceman has a chance to tie things up as he steps into the courtyard two himself. Any four of six, three minutes on the clock. And we'll see what he's able to do here. <laughs> he's been throwing things off real slow. Double Agent joins him, so he's able to get what's effectively a banana bread from that. There are a ton of people in conversation. I think Kalitos was only able to get the one low light from that. No, apparently two low lights, but still, that's pretty darn good. Gallery was swapped in for Pan. All right, that makes sense. So that's why that's why it is an eleven uh, eleven game. Eleven. This white's first to eleven is the words I was trying to make come out of the mouth. Are the words? Sorry, I can't words today. Anyways, a game is happening, and Iceman is slow playing far too much again. Iceman just. He has problems mission zing. Which is very dangerous, but able to hit the green, so this could work out for him quite nicely as he goes for some briefcaseage. I actually really like that. It's a free get the heck away pass and actually gets him low lit because he's been actually he's been briefcasing a little bit, so I don't know why he got low lit, but he got low lit. Which is fantastic for Iceman. But he still has to get his missions done, and with no flirts yet, with a minute and 15, that might be a little bit easier said than done. Which is super unfortunate, because he has a hard tell done, damn it! Iceman just... I don't know, he has problems doing his missions. Neutral has happened, though, so that's something to pay attention to. Green test to start off his flirtations, so... You have a start here. You need to find a trip into the statue zone. 45 seconds left. I think we need it right now. Iceman agrees, stepping into the someone died, and it wasn't Iceman. We have a tie game at seven. Stepping into gallery, any five of seven, which is a very sniper biased game type. But. This is, it's certainly winnable. It's certainly winnable. As we saw from Kletos' first round on. Let's see if he can do it again. As he steps into the spiral on any five of seven gallery. <laughs> Taking control early is always very dangerous on the gallery for exactly that reason. Now, he's able to deal with all the crazy collisions coming through the door quite nicely. That time as well, he did a pretty good job of things. But the AI will guide you through there safely every time. And if you start outside and you're heading inside, just let the AI do it unless you want to stay outside. And suddenly, seduction target heads outside. Like a jerk. We're gonna give chase. I don't like giving chase. I really don't like giving chase here because he's gonna move. Look at this. He's heading right back inside again. Cletos, this is not looking like a good start for him at all. Because he needs to get five missions done. 
He only has two minutes and thirty seconds to do it. He hasn't gotten started on anything. This is definitely a rough start for Kalitos here. Third at a bookcase and not a good entry and pre-flirting. That's just not not what you're looking for at all. 31% with the distance. That, that was just the most unfortunate um, bookcase visit ever. Other than the fact that he managed to dodge the highlight. So, there's that. Minute 50 left to play. Stepping in for another flirt and the DA. He is going to need to hit a green on one of these if he wants to get it done. That was not the green test he needed. And if he hits one more close white, he'll be at 99% on the flirt, which is oftentimes not 100%, which means he needs a green test here. And Kletos, you have to missions. You really have to missions now. That is a thing that must occur if you are to win this. <laughs> Hanging out here. Looking at a painting. Running the clock down very, very quickly. Only a minute five left to play as he steps in the statues. He might actually have to swap this. Actually, no. What he has to do is he has to put this down, finish, seduce, maybe get a bug in, um, and then inspect swap. But he's going for the inspect swap early, which I don't think you can really do. Swap comes off, inspect comes off, and I can, and actually that was a green swap, so things might work out, but with only 30 seconds left to play, he needs a mission and a flirt which is very difficult to do. That was a bit of a Hail Mary bug there, and the bullet comes out. That was a rough game for Kletos, but any five or seven galleries are a rough game type. Let's see what Iceman can do with it, as he steps into the spiral himself. Suddenly, Kletos is on the back foot for a moment here, and he's fighting this game to see if he can keep things tied up. Gets marked suspicious immediately for just being at the statues. That is super unfortunate. Oh god, that was a bad bug. Didn't come off. It was almost waving the sniper there. But, didn't get shot for it, so... Maybe... Maybe it wasn't as bad as it looked from Sniper Side. Taking out a blue book, though. Um, man, I just feel like there has to be so much heat on him at this point. I don't think he can afford to bring this over to the red bookcase, but it might be his only chance here, considering any 5 of 7 is the game type, which is Bonkerville. Can't even get the bug off here because that's the hand his book is in. It's unfortunate. Two minutes and twenty left to play. No missions done yet. Might have to go for the promo here. Stepping away to the bookcase, going to the microfilm. We'll see here if this winds up getting him shot. Film goes off. Looks like this may have worked out for him. Weird bounce. Okay. Nope. Didn't know. He knew. Kletos knew. And suddenly we're tied at eight. Going in to known seven veranda once more. Last time. Kletos put out a real good showing on this map, almost able to win it actually, but hit the white test on uh, on the purloin right at the end. Um, last mission he had to do, he got everything else done, but hit the white test on the purloin and suddenly everything blew up. We'll see if he can find a win here, he almost had it last time. This is his chance to pull off the miracle win. And wouldn't that be incredible? This is not the start we're looking for. Some of that pathing was fantastic. 
Starting things off with the purloin. The white test again. This could be bad. But I don't think Iceman knows if we gulp this real quick. We're able to get off with that purloin clean. Now Iceman sees it. And we're at bookcase. This is a fantastic start for Kletos. Because suddenly Iceman is going to need to pick a different mission to guard. Probably going to get Hylet here. He does indeed. Oh, wow! Iceman! What a shot coming out of him there! I am super impressed by that. Whew! Nice! Nice! That was good stuff. It's 9-9. Nine, nine. It's 9-9. Nine nine. Guys, if we split this next set, we get overtime. If we split this next set, overtime happens. If you don't know what overtime is in the ladder, it is the most insanely hype, tense thing in existence. It's ridiculous. If it comes to that, I'll explain it to you guys. It's a little bit complicated. But just know it's freaking bong. Oh my god, I've got a donation. That's never happened before. Agent Lionfish, you are the freaking man man thank you so much I that is amazing we might get overtime hopefully it happens I'll keep you updated we're stepping in a ballroom any four of six starting things off with Kletos on the spy and the mission he takes off this time is microfilm now a lot of you guys know I'm sure I'm not a huge fan of taking off microfilm because even though it is really hard to do it also takes up a heck of a lot of the sniper's attention which means you're a little bit more open to get your other stuff done and yeah people have been trying it so the sni so you, the snipers have been kept honest this is the perfect time i believe to leave it in because it really does limit what the snipers where the snipers can be looking because they have to keep track of that microfilm. Starting things off with a quick 32% from the flirt, uh, which is not optimal, but definitely workable. Even if we just hit white test, we can still three flirt this. Just barely, but we can. Even in position for the double agent, which I think is pretty good. There are not that many people outside of conversation. There's uh, Blue Danger, obviously, and a couple people on the other side, but very doable. Uh, Kletos did not to. <laughs> Stepping in to statues for these three inspections. Oh no, can you get this done? That was a swap. I don't know if he meant to green swap that. He got his inspects done and his green swap, so this, this could be really big. This could be really big. Going for the second flirt there. Um, still in three flirt range. The green swap has come off. Does he know? Does he know? I don't think he knows. I think he knows! And Kletos picks up the big win with the green swap on Ballroom. And suddenly it's match point. Iceman to answer. He has to win this game as Spy or that's it. That's the match. Oh man, we found drama, ladies and gentlemen. We found it. It's been a really, really tight race. Iceman playing for overtime. Kletos playing for the win. Let's see what happens as we step into ballroom any four of six with Iceman on the spy. And the mission he takes off <laughs> is Purloin. Which again, I'm not particularly fond of because it's so freaking hard to guard Purloin on this map. But at the same time, um, Clippers have been going pretty crazy guarding Pearl on this map back in the day. Uh, actually, no, n never mind. This isn't this isn't as old as that. People have gotten used to Pearl by this point in time, considering Gal. This is when Gallery was fairly new. So, yeah, I, I would have liked to see. Generally, uh, swap is the mission I like to see knocked off. The work for Ike Kletos. 
So we'll see what Iceman can do. He has 24% flirt, which is definitely an an op- suboptimal move. He's gonna need to pick up a green test if he wants to finish that up in three. Gets Hylet for the fast statues, which could wind up being a problem for him. He should be able to get off all three inspects without any issue. He is indeed able to get inspects done. He does three cycle. But considering one of them was a neutral cycle, that's a little bit more difficult to spot. Two minutes and ten left on the clock. Plenty of time. <laughs> that was some interesting little collision in there. Double agent steps in. Might be able to pick up a banana bread right here. There are a lot of people in conversation. How many are out? I've seen one out of conversation. The ambassador, obviously. I think that's it. I think this is a very good position to banana bread. I really don't like not banana breading there. I think that one would have been a really good play. It's the white test again on his second flirt, though, so he's going to need to green in the third. If he wants to get that done, and with a minute and 30 left, I think he needs to start moving a bit. I really don't think he should have passed up that banana bread. I think he almost had to take that. There's so many people in the conversation. It's a bit of an odd pathing issue coming out of the conversation there, but not bad. And I don't think it was noticed as he picked up a book here. I don't think he can go for the microphone transfer here. He doesn't have any cover. Going for the... Oh no! Super fast step away from paintings there could wind up being really bad, but I don't think it was noticed. So, Iceman got thrown a bit of a bone there, but with only a minute left, he really has to move. Because of not being friendly, what are we gonna do here? What's the plan, Iceman? You gotta move! Oh no, that was a red test! That was a red test! There's the cough! There's the shot! And there's the game. Kletos pulls it off. 11 to 9. Wow. What a set that was. Holy mackerel. We're done about 15 minutes early, but games don't usually go that fast. That was a fast set. I'm surprised at how quickly that went. But that's all I got for tonight. Um, so thanks a ton for coming out, guys. But before you go... I know a lot of you weren't here when the show started, so I'm going to reiterate the big news that's coming out in the world of Spy Party. Next build, coming out early next week, is going to have a new mission. And it's going to be a soft tell. Which means pandemonium is about to occur in the world of Spy Party, because suddenly everything has to be rebalanced as far as game modes are concerned. What's going to be the new balanced game type? Um, and besides that, suddenly the snipers who were um, playing the camping styles are going to have a lot more difficult a time with things because of how freaking hard it is to camp soft elves. So, there are going to be a lot of changes in the world of Spy Party coming up. And I will be there to hopefully walk you guys through them. Next show is on Sunday at twitch.tv slash spy party. I do ladder casts with Crazy Kaylee. Um, and then that, that, that happens at 9 p.m. Eastern, by the way, like this show. And also I cast on the Tuesdays with Warning Track. Um... Also at 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm also in the ladder now. So I'll keep you guys posted on the Twitters to let you guys know when all that ladder stuff is happening. I'm at Tobo TV if you want to find me there. Uh, thanks a ton for coming out. Thanks a ton for the donation, man. Um, but yeah, thanks a ton for coming out to watch. And until next time, this is Toboshi signing off.